Hi folks, Brian Reed here with Firewalls.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a NAT policy that will take an outbound IP address and actually reroute it back to an internal IP address on your network. All right, so here's how it's done. Inside the admin console, we go to Network, NAT Policies, and we select Add. And for the original source, we're going to say any because we're going to originate this actual connection from our LAN side of the network here in a minute. For the translated source, we're going to keep it as original. And for the original destination, we're going to create a new address object. And for the name of this, we're just going to put in the IP address that we're actually going to reroute back inside our network. So we'll use the 24.64.20.20. For the zone assignment, that IP address is located on the WAN and it's a single host so we'll just go ahead and put the host IP address in there for the translated destination this is where we're going to convert it from that 24 dot address to an internal address so the translated we're going to create a new address object and we're going to translate it to an internal address 192.168.1.5 and the zone, that IP address is on our LAN. It's a single host address, so we'll go ahead and put in the IP address and select OK. Now in this case, for the original service, we're going to keep it at any because we're going to reroute or NAT any of the services that are trying to access that original destination. And translated service, we're just going to keep it as original as well. And since this is originating from the LAN side of our network, we're going to select our inbound interface as X0 and select add. So now we've got our NAT policy set up as you can see here originating from anywhere coming inbound on our X0 or LAN interface in this case and if it's going to this specific address we want to translate it back into this 192 address that's on our LAN side and it's going to apply this policy to any services. Okay, hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please enter them in the section below and have a great day.